What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of risk global domination. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube and I stream on Twitch almost as often. You can check my page for the upcoming schedule for today's for today's episode. We're doing another game of classic fix. It is Friday. So either this is a fixed Friday or it's fixed on Friday, but anyway, you slice it. I wasn't happy with my game last time around. We've gone 42 and 47 playing these settings. Classic fixed world domination, um, expert AI, and we start with neutral bots now. From now on, I'm going to be um, doing my lobby with the inactive bot. Fixed cards, balance, blitz, dice with alliances on fog, blizzards, and portals are off, and I am in the fourth position. In the first position, we have General Fam, 7285, from the United Kingdom, playing as green. In the second position, we have Birdie Trenchard, 3, from the United States of America, playing as orange. In the third position, we have Liege the Kid, 26, from Spain, playing as yellow. In the fourth position is myself, Bird Blintz from Bangladesh, currently playing as Reginald Risico. And we've gone, as I said, 42 and 47. In the fifth position, we've General Basak, 6444, from an unspecif unspecified location, playing as purple. And finally, General Ping, 14190, from Canada, playing as red. Now, what does my opener tell me? My opener tells me that yellow wants to go for Australia. Whereas yellow should have gone for South America. I have a four locked. I have to negotiate with yellow. He seems to want both. Which one can I take? Which of you guys wants to work with me? This will also help inform where I put my troops. Can I maybe get Africa? I think Africa is not occupied currently. And red goes after me. So that seems like my best road. Purple wants to be friends. Okay. I think I take Africa in this in this board. Nobody else wants to be friends? Okay. I think I take Africa and Orange wants to be friends. Yeah. I think I take Africa in this board. Sure. Unless Red doubles down on that three. He could have a nine stack. That would contest. Ooh, but I got a Joker turn one. That feels good. That feels really good. Bless those reins. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, bless the reins. Orange is a newbie, you feel. Why? What tells you that? What? What's your tell that Orange is a noob? What did they do on their first turn that you didn't like? No Asia, no win. Get out of here. New to your Twitch, never thought about you doing your intro for every game. Appreciate the effort. Yeah, I don't have a standardized intro. I've, I've iterated it quite a bit over time. You wasted his starting troops on Australia. Ah, yes. This is what you lose when you do the intro. Okay, so Red is moving. He's trying to indicate that he wants North America. I see. Trying to bully Orange. All right, looks like I have a great Africa start now. Purple moved out of my way. I can connect my five into the main part. I'm going to let Red get a card off of his three if he'd like. Before I have to smash it. And that would engender some goodwill from Red. It looks like Red's taking the North America position. And everyone is now allied up except Yellow. Okay. Yep, Orin sees which way the wind is blowing and gets out. Yellow wants Australia. Takes it now, I think. No. Jesus. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. <laughs> Split fives. All right. Do we want to talk about who's a noob in this game? Holy shit. All right. So I'm going to say to uh, the red player, hit purple. Because this is a use it or lose it type situation. I'm going to blow your three. So if you want to get value out of it, now's your chance. <laughs> 
I mean, a great way to take Africa now. Red understands that I didn't need to unnecessarily destroy his three, and he can get a card out of it if he so chooses before I take the Africa position. Why would you not finish the Australia bonus? Well, so he had nine, right? He had nine here. So let's say we lose two. Now we have seven. Let's say we lose two. Now we have five. Guarding with a five actually isn't all that great. He was okay to do it slowly. I think the problem with his play is the split guard here. That makes no sense. Red and I have a good understanding. I'm happy to... Yes. Good job. Oh, Red wants South America. Okay. That's fine too. I can get this out. He's going to let me take Africa. He's going to let me take Africa on the third turn. Fuck yeah. I'm down with that. Looks like orange and purple are still fighting in. Oh no. Orange would like to involve himself in my Africa. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, so now um <laughs> had to roll a 5v2, which is not 100%. Hmm. Like, well, what did, okay, so now I get suicided into by, by Orange? What did you think I was going to, like, I had nowhere to go. Maybe Orange is a noob. Maybe he's playing an un- Conventional strat. We shall see. Just hands Europe to purple. Might be the new orange meta. Yeah, we shall see, eh? We shall see how it goes. I was like, I was shitting pretty. I could fucking move my four out and connect all up in here. And orange is just like, no, I'm going to put my stack right in your way. Let's see what orange does. I'm so interested. I don't want to tell him to do anything. I feel like he should already know. Even, even a very new player would see that this is mutually assured destruction. Thank you for the prime sub Woodrose. Thank you, thank Woodrose. I like that. Where are they going? Dude, gonna plot out in my Africa? Yeah, maybe. That would suck. And it's an inactive bot, so it'll just stack there. Okay. Well, don't love that, do I? Yes, no? Try to work with me. Yeah, I know. I know you want me to attack Orange. Okay, so my thinking is I take Egypt. I now have all of Africa but that territory. I'm going to position myself so I can only hit that territory. <laughs> you have a choice, sir. 
Watch him re-raise. Purple's loving this, too. Just loving it. Well, I don't care where Orange goes. I'm insisting that he doesn't go there. Nobody's bugging green in North America, so green's going to take it. Whether orange slams into Pete or the other way around, I'm going to fucking hit this guy. <laughs> I have to. I have to hit this guy. Okay, yellow gets 10. And moves that into himself. No, does the split guard. I was hoping to get my three into my, into my body. He guards in an odd way. Breaking Alliance when Orange is on five cards. Oh, yeah. Fucking hit me. If you want to suicide into me, I, at least I get to play another game. But don't waste my time while someone else gets stronger. I would have hit a stack. Yeah, well, I was very close to it. I was very close to it. Thank you, Danny2D, for the Prime sub. Thanks, man. It's not fixed Friday. It's fixed on Friday. Hope for lucky dice. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm trying my I'm trying my best not to suicide in the early game. There's still options, right? I'm still balanced out with everybody. Yellow will start to climb to a lead, but they're not quite there yet. What could Orange do now to advance his position? Move to Asia. Why don't I move to Asia? Because I started in Africa. Right, he needs to give me a reason to take the bonus I was trying to take. Right, literally, I was there first. Right? Simple as that. Yeah, he started. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Like, there are times where it makes sense to back down. But I didn't create this situation. He did. 
Orange also had a way better play. Orange had many way better plays. Yeah, yeah, this is terrible. This is terrible level play. But given that it's terrible level play that can still ruin my game, I have to be very careful. Yeah, maybe he'll wait till EU is taken. We'll see. And red has had enough. All right, green gets a 10 set. Dude, please remove that five. Let me kill Orange. <laughs> you know, if I was going to get cards out of it, I'd fucking kill him. <laughs> yeah, it would actually be a good move for green. All right. This is where I lose my stack. GG. I get sixth. Six on an alt? No, this isn't my alt. This is my uh, classic fixed account. Very funny. Very funny circumstance. How are you feeling inside? I can sense the fire all the way to Norway. I mean, no. I'm less angry and more frustrated. Um... Because what, what Orange is doing is he's wasting both of our times, right? Now, I, I, I hear the argument in chat. It's like, well, you know, he started at blah, blah, blah. I, I was there. So that was the position I was trying to take. That was the position I invested in. If you kill, hit him. Fucking hit him, please. Give, let, I'll, you know I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll piss away. Just somebody fucking take that shit out. He's going to hit me now. He's going to ally up and hit me. Oh, he moves out. Huh. Oh, God. <laughs> no! Why are you doing this, though? Why? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that was a hundred and fucking ten percent oops. Okay, yellow kills red. Takes four cards for free. Yellow wins easily. Oh, orange and yellow are collabing, maybe. Okay, let's watch that. Because that seemed too good. Orange and yellow are or orange and yellow could be collabing. Oh, I will definitely kill him now. Yes, a hundred percent. I will kill him now. After doing that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are dead. You are super, super dead. Yeah, you don't get away with that with me. You die. None of that. We don't need you on the board.
I got the good set. I also give green North America. Let's see if they want to let me have South America. Green and I need to be buds. Yellow is the strongest, but they are in the worst position long term. I think orange is, or I think purple's my buddy. Also, that felt really good killing that guy. Um, okay, purple and I are good. Doesn't break. Let's see if green wants. If green is good, they go one, two, three, four, five, and guard out here. Right? If they let me hold South America and Africa, they get plus five. Purple gets plus five. I get plus five. We grind out yellow. Let's see if green if green sees it. Why don't you just take it? Yeah, good. Good. That was fucking great. But they do guard. Okay. Well, that's better than taking it. I'm not going to stack there. I'll stack in Brazil. Yeah, so I killed Yellow's buddy. Yep, and he does the exact same thing. So I killed Yellow's buddy. Hmm. Get them under 12 territories. We're still generating equally. I'm the weakest player on the board. I'm really, really trying not to suicide. The exact same Africa denial, right, right. Well. Oh, come on. Well, this is an interesting sitch. Purple goes bad neighbor to green. Okay. You have much more patience than I do. It It's classic fixed, right? I don't owe these people anything. I don't even owe you guys anything. I'm just playing my game. I'm trying to see what happens. I'm trying to recognize patterns over time. The pattern I was recognizing with Orange is they they really, really played to the detriment of themselves and to the benefit of Yellow. And then as soon as I kill them to mitigate the collab potential, partially and partially just to take revenge because I could, um, we see the exact same thing from yellow. So I don't know. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to make a collab report based on imperfect, low likelihood information. And if SMG detects a pattern, then SMG detects a pattern. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. Yellow Salty's buddy died. SMG never detects a pattern. Well, yeah, they seem to be letting us down quite a bit in their ability to protect us from this garbage. Um, and it's probably going to have a long-term impact on how much people want to play and stick around in this game, to be honest. So my current uh, approach to this is to try and promote the tournaments, try and promote the community. Um, because that's where a lot of really fun games can be had as opposed to what is always going to be a flawed at best ranking system, but they could make it so much better.
If I was green, I would take that guard off my border. Not sure what his plan is. Green's being more passive, I guess. At least yellow gets a low set. Yeah, they're the same person. Purple's going to sit back and win this game. I have the cavalry trade. I'm gonna throw a heart to green. So I do not tolerate this. I'm exactly tied up to yellow. All purple has to do is take a card and pass. They maintain a huge lead. First time seeing you live. Welcome in. Welcome in, Remshot. 303 Drake, thank you for the prime sub. Thanks a lot, man. Green keeping a stack locked. Where does he move it? Or does he keep it locked? Ooh, okay. I guess you have to build up, so. Neither of them break me. Yellow can't get in. Good. That is a lot of troops. I don't think I trade. Now we squeeze yellow to death slowly. I'm, I'm expecting a betrayal from purple. But they've already instigated with green. Yeah, here it comes. Hmm. Purple in a strong lead at 81 troops. I'm in second at 47. Yellow has 42 and green player has 32 troops. I need to build back up. And the longer this board stays stable like this, the longer I have a chance to do so. Is it viable to kill green for their cards when they have 30 troops and three cards? One card is worth about 3.3 troops. So that's how I value cards in classic fixed. You don't, you, your average trade is about the 10 trade, maybe slightly less. Okay, I'm at 17 territories. Good. Part of me wanted to slam into yellow there. But then I get third. Ha! They flagged. 
They flagged on five cards. Okay, we're in a three-player game. That was fully a collab, guys. That was fully... They played the same game, didn't they? So now I'm just taking board. I'm going to hold more territory. Twenty-two. Purple is ninety-four to my seventy-seven. I'm catching up. They said they get ten. One hundred and four. Yo, Pete, what's up? What's up, the judge? How you doing? Are we going to be bad neighbors soon? Well, I've been expecting it for a while, so that's why this stack isn't open. He wants to hook all the way around. He can. At least this way is to use new troops. Yeah, Purple is trying to fight a war on two fronts. He doesn't want to go first and second with me. We'll see about that. Get some green. Poor green. If I was green, I would fucking get... I would be fuming. I have better generation than purple, so... Me and purple had a good alliance this whole game. Yo, love the YouTube videos. Congrats on the success. Keep it up. I sure will, man. I surely, surely will. Hits me in Asia. Does he move his stack? Three goes in. He keeps his stack locked. And I'm still getting 11 troops. My generation is better than purples. Status quo is good for me. I have to hit one of green, though. Uh, and I got the infantry trade. It was bound to happen. Was Pete break purple? No. Certainly not. I'm getting plus, I'm getting more troops than him. So instigating a war against him is bad. I won't start the war. I will finish it. See? He starts the war. Okay. I'm gonna give... Green? Ugh. Still get third, eh? Gives Green a chance to come back. You got a good roll, too. And I have the fucking infantry trade. Good time to hit me. Move your stack. Please move your stack. Please move your stack. Please move your stack. Yes. Yes. I love you. I'm going to go first and second with uh, with green if at all possible. I'm at 36 troops. Green's at 47. Purple's in the lead at 61. I have been really, really good with green. No cards on three. Sitting with an 18 stack in you, Madagascar. I think purple decided to poke the bear a bit too early, but I had that fucking infantry trade. 
I really need green to stick by me. And we'll see. Green kind of got fucked over by purple in the early game. And I have been only good to them, especially when yellow slammed into them. They've played a great game. I like green a lot. Green going to bust Europe. Yeah. Yeah, we have a very solid, strong North America now if we are um, playing purple. I'm still holding a ton of board. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> Our alliance is over, eh? You think? You think, huh? Okay, let's hit some. Break it. Does he take Europe for himself? Oh, he goes in through the bottom. Fair enough. I, I'm losing a lot of material from this. I'll only get three troops next turn. Good. Oh, don't guard there. We're buds. All I wanted, guys, all I wanted was Africa. Uh, purple in the lead at 41 troops, followed by green at 37, and I am in third at 24. He sets and gets the eight, and I've no set on four. This stack goes all the way around the world to break me. I get third. Too bad. Green still needs me. And break. I know green still needs me. I will give green fucking first over purple. But 16 and 4, maybe he just kills me now. Too bad. I die. Well, it'll be 16 and 5, and then I'll die for sure. Because I have no set. No set right now is fatal. Hit the 22, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> that felt good. Oh, yeah. Give me second, please. Oh, yes. So purple instigated with both of us. I think that was the key piece of his losing. You don't want to start a war with both of your opponents when you're in the lead, right? You want to pick them off one by one. He instigated with both of us. That was dumb. Now he's dead. Green has the choice to kill either me or purple.
It's going to let me take it. Let's see if I get it. Got him. That felt fucking great. Oh, and the old infantry trade. Green wins. Well played and good game, sir. Nope. No break on North America. Uh, Green has 33 to my 30, but he starts his turn with eight troops and a 10 set. At least I got second. Green is honorable. They kill yellow first. So important to notice, and I, I just learned this as well. Yellow has flagged. So you see the, the white surrender flag? They have already locked in their fourth placement. So honor does not apply. Yellow has already gotten fourth place in this game. So um, they finished where they surrendered. And I'm pretty sure if we want to talk about honor, I'm pretty sure yellow was collabing and was also playing as orange this game. But we'll never know. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm finito. I can't win this game. Maybe I just get perfect dice. I'll keep trying, I suppose. Perfect dice. Let's go. Perfect dice. Nope. Perfect dice. Nope. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Wait for green to clean me up now. I want to see the ranks of everybody. Yeah, GG. You know, a lot of seconds on these fixed games recently. I wonder if I'm uh, getting rusty or what it is, but uh, maybe other people are getting better. That might be part of it too. Well-deserved win? Yeah, I think so. I think um, Purple sealed it. Purple lost this game for himself, right? I was happy to be loyal to Green because um, they were the one person who didn't fuck me over. You know who really got fucked over though was Red. But I'm so glad I killed Orange after they killed, after they ruined Red's game and fed the kill. And I'm also glad we made Yellow quit. Uh, yellow and Orange have the same flag. It doesn't matter. You can change your flag too easily. USA and Spain. Destroying Yellow and Orange feels like a win. Yeah. Great example of using patience as a weapon. Yeah, well, I was so close to slamming into orange every one of those turns, but it was just like that, that loses me the game for sure. So red game bomb was so funny. Probably wasn't so funny for red. <laughs> Probably wasn't so funny for red. Throw, throw green the good game and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, he played a great game by stacking in Alaska for a while. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested. And getting better at the game of risk i invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me orange was an expert green was a master and they played like a master yellow was an intermediate 
Purple was a beginner, so that's why I think Purple didn't necessarily realize that when they were in the dominant position, um, giving up too much equity by attacking two of your opponents at once is probably certain death. And Red was an intermediate. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and educational, maybe e fun and entertaining, maybe even a little educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube and I stream on Twitch almost as often. We've gone 42 and 48 playing classic fixed. If you'd like to support me to continue this work, there's a couple of ways you can join my Patreon. You can become a member of my YouTube and you can uh, get on my discord, click the notifications, find out when I go live on Twitch catch the next stream ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching thank you for the support and until next time for all of you on the path to world domination good games and good luck